Hello everybody and welcome to another New World video. That's right, today we're going to be doing a reaction to J Oddity's video. New World Season 5 has issues, but big future hints. I am very excited to get into this reaction. I already have it free liked, as you should too. You guys should check out his channel. I, it's, it's going to be, you know, it, it, it should be linked in the description. If I'm a good rememberer, I really hope that I am. I really hope that, you know, I stay true to that. Uh, this is a reaction. So I will be pausing a lot, a, a decent amount probably to be talking about my thoughts on the game and certain aspects that he talks about um, because I am a, a yapper, a big yapper. So anyway, yeah, check out Jay Oddity's channel, uh, New World Oddity at least, uh, because that is where he posts the New World content, which is what I personally watch. Um, so we're going to full screen this and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what what j oddity has to say it's safe to say at this point that season five has been a mixed bag however maybe some hope is on the horizon we've had some really interesting teases about what's coming in the future and when we might hear about it so i have this picture here that somebody put in discord i haven't actually verified all of these but I've definitely seen some of them in my own time playing, like the UI bug, the healing bug I've heard about, Shockwave is bugged, the boat exploit, which we're going to talk about. And I've probably seen more than what's on here, but you know, whatever, right? The real deep cynic in me wants to talk about how they slowed down for quality. But actually, I think that might be a bit harsh. This is a huge patch, which changes a lot of the fundamentals, if not mm -hmm. adding a lot of content. I suspect some of this is going to get fixed sooner rather than later. I just want to talk about one thing that we all knew was coming. The PvE arenas that each have an artifact behind them. Yeah, getting into these has been pretty much absolutely annoying. What's happening is everybody stood at the door trying to desperately press this button when it goes live. Some people are probably like cheating okay. and hacking. When the server first went live, like about half an hour after, this place was absolutely packed and it was pretty damn crazy. It sort of blows my mind that they did that, but you know, whatever. Um, in a day or two, it'll settle down. The arenas are pretty easy and not 100% sure why they did that, but yeah, they're pretty packed. Then let's they probably just wanted to uh to to put a a larger reward than what is currently what you get from arenas currently it, it's not that much so i think it's actually a decent idea to put uh an artifact behind each arena and that way at least you know you get your first time clear and hopefully you can get your artifact and then you know you don't have to bother with it afterwards but at least you experience the content it gives you a reason to experience the content I don't think there's any problem with that. It's just like, yeah, obviously, when a patch like that hits and something really big is added to a loot table, that thing is going to be pretty popular for the first, you know, few hours, even days, depending on how popular the game itself is, XD, New World. Um, you know, it's going to be, you know, packed with players wanting to do that piece of content. So I, I don't think that's any bad. But I'm kind of waiting for him to get to each, in like, each specific point and that's whatever um you know i'm trying to pause and uh talk about that when he gets there talk about some of the more egregious issues <laughs> by the way i got tempest fury not bragging i'd probably have had all the artifacts today if the game Ooh. was working properly but oh that looks good whirlwind hits grant fortify increasing armor by type status effect data status perk underscore g times 100 times 4.33333333015444 one uh more parentheses percent and slash damage but okay yeah that, that wow wow that's a really cool perk wow i just thought i couldn't be bothered trying to find those out if i still i like but that yeah, you can see here that's a you lot see the um you know the perk ids yeah uh -huh. they're all pretty much like that they're all fudged. Yep. they're pretty much all but well, i mean everything is like that i was actually having issues getting in the arena by the way i was getting like arena id failed but i'm like well we'll try it with a different group when all the players come down but the other thing i want to talk about is the movement now i think this was actually like this on the ptr but i think i thought it was like lag or something but it's not but basically it just looks like your ice skating like if you do this thing with the new free form movement it looks like your ice skate like you're, you're huh. like slipping and sliding it's it's the common uh this issue has been talked about before it's not a massive issue it's not game breaking it just looks janky um it's where the the animation 
of your character running of like the running animation in new world is like faster than how fast your character actually moves like it's like your character's doing like a full sprint but they're ju- they're going like jogging speed you know what i'm saying um not that severe but you can kind of notice it if you really look for it and whenever he's doing this new free form movement where he's like changing all around directions and like running around in a perfect circle it's really uh easy to see it there especially because your character's constantly changing direction you kind of just like your feet are just kind of like uh but like just kind of sliding around yeah and it's like you properly don't get starting i really don't like it i hate it to be honest it does not feel good at all in the slightest like i'm not slipping here i'm just running normally and if you turn off the free movement even that's the same right like it, the whole movement has been changed and it does not feel good it doesn't feel right i don't like it combat's maybe a little bit of a mixed bag there are some abilities that are just i don't think that's a huge problem straight up broken but, or maybe not straight up bro- well not what he not what he's talking about right now i'm talking about the 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 like it looks like your character is kind of sliding something like that's not massively game breaking or anything um but it should be fixed it should be fixed i'm not saying it shouldn't be fixed it should be fixed. broken but that just feel even worse worse for example like if i go with my warhammer here and i try and use thunder and shockwave there's just something that, like you see that delay yeah that's busted I, I i think they'll be able to like sort of quickly fix that there's a bit of a delay between when you actually hit and then the effect and you know that's oh. obviously not working as intended most of the combat sort of felt okay some animations probably taking a little bit getting used to like if i was getting i think i was getting stuck in certain animations that maybe i hadn't been getting stuck in before i'm not going to show footage for my post rush i've only done one um and i would say anecdotally there wasn't that much change to desync the clumps didn't really feel very good but overall with the combat update i sort of think like yeah it's probably not as good it's probably worse than what we had before however for me it's not really a deal breaker there's nothing sort of like crazy i think once they tidy up some of the you know some of this some of the abilities some of the animation locks there was at one point by the way i think i actually t posed because i ran out of animations or something i actually my character actually just straight now here's the reason why this is going to be able to be fixed and it was not before right so the changing of the movement and combat that they did a complete overhaul it used to be scripts and now it is actually C++. Like it's actually like coded. You can go in, you can change very specific things if you need to, whatever you need to change, you can do it. Uh, it was awful before. And it was one of the reasons genuinely why this is confirmed by the way, one of the reasons why we did not get swimming in the game. One, one of the biggest reasons we didn't get swimming is because they could not get it into the script. That is insane. That is insane. Well, they, they could, but it would take a lot of effort. It would take way too much effort to be worth it. To add swimming, just so like you can swim, even though there's no like content that requires you to swim. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing really that requires swimming in the game. Like, you don't. You don't need to swim. It's dumb that it's, it, that it's not in the game. You don't need to do it. And therefore, it should not be a massive priority, right? Especially whenever it would take so long, so much work, so much effort, so much weird rigging with like horrible scripting. Like, basically, nobody liked working on the game engine that New World was made with. Um, and now they have change it to like actual c plus plus coding so they can go in it and they can actually change the stuff now so there's going to be a lot of you know weird stuff maybe they didn't get every out every single line and character in every ounce of code perfect and also with the fact that movements are more like fleshed out now things can like happen faster like the bow exploit is back because they fixed it in scripts but whenever they made it, like they they wrote the code for the game, they like rewrote the code in C plus uh, plus. Now it's like back because like you know the movement is entirely you know written different. So, but that should be able to be fixed easily instead of it taking a long time and it being like 
oh, well, now it's like here, but like now it's not completely fixed. Like, no, th this was a necessary evil that will allow them to cut down hours upon hours upon hours of development time and resources on simple like bug fixes and animation uh changes additions subtraction whatever right this was a very necessary evil and is going to set them out up for success in the future same with controller support which is what we're going to talk about later because i believe and pretty much everybody in the new world community believes this game is coming to console because AGS, the same company that made uh, that's, that made New World, wants to, and they're building it with the same engine. They're building a Lord of the Rings MMO with the same engine, and it is going to come out for console. So they're testing console, and they're making sure console is is viable, and all the kinks are worked out with New World. As, hey, I'm sorry, it is it is what it is. This janky, horrible system, like the, this horrible development like system that they're using like they're not using unreal they're not using unity they're not using any of the good ones no they're using lumberyard which got renamed to as off engine which like you know there there's they have to make many improvements they're adding like this free form movement you know they rewrote the whole code now finally they can like you know go in and make little incremental changes uh they can make any changes that they need to make also they added controller support that, that allowed them to add controller support and now since there's controller support and everything is, you know, the code is rewritten and things like that, they can now port it to console, which I guarantee is going to be partially what the announced, what the massive announcement in uh, June is going to be. They're making a massive uh, announcement at June in the Summer Games Fest. I assume Jay is going to talk about a lot of this stuff, though. He paused for so, a very split second. Sorry please. for yapping. I think eventually, though, the combat will feel pretty similar. And actually, yeah. that happened on stream, so I'm going to show you a very, you know, a screen recording of it happening. But if you look here, I T-pose in a minute. They do a sweep. I don't quite get swept. I T-pose. But, you know. <laughs> but the thing is, at least everything's hitting. Yeah, at least the sword connected with that enemy. The enemy got hit. The swipe connected with him, he got hit. I guess the animation of him falling down didn't happen, but he like he posed instead of like falling down. So he still got stunned and everything like that. Everything is hitting and everything is happening. Massive W, massive W. No, I mean nothing crazy. Just a little bit of a, a a bit of jank, basically. I think eventually they'll sort of you know resolve most of these issues. I'm not too stressed. Yeah. I think overall they should probably stop talking about slowing down for quality because they're just going to get memed on either way to be honest. That's true. Whilst a lot of these issues are just a bit daft, I think they sort of make sense when you consider what they've actually changed in the combat. If you don't know by the way they've gone from scripting to native C++. I don't really understand coding so I'm not going to talk about it too much but that change has been huge and somehow it's affected quite a lot of things. This clip is going around at the minute Pretty much with the bow and the musket, you can effectively do Ooh. this thing where you're doing. Oh fire. yeah. It's a bit scuffed, but yeah, you can rapid fire that. Oh yeah. Back. It's actually done slightly differently. I actually don't know how you fully do it, but yeah, that bug is back, and yeah, it's not good. So season five, I don't want to be oblivious to the fact, definitely a mixed bag. Now there is some very small grains of hope on the horizon. Today we had a video, a dev video, the Iron Eternum with the CM Lydia. And I have to say, I actually think mm -hmm. this video was quite good. There were a few major Yeah, I thought it was very good. Sort of in here. One of them, by the way, is definitely something to do with like chipmunks or pets. See this little little thing here? This is a little chipmunk, I think. They also had one of these in a previous video. Pets, if I'm honest, are probably soft confirmed. Like, it's probably pets, right? I don't know. Why would you not have pets? I know people will say, yeah. But what about a raid? Who cares, bro? You get a little chipmunk? That would be cute. That would be dang. I don't think there's anything wrong with adding like things like pets and, and fun things like that to the game. As long as you're not skimping on other big content. And I know they've been hyping up this June update for a while. Like that they've everything is like oh no we can't talk about this wait until june oh no we can't wait to talk about this wait until june we have something big coming for pvp players wait till june we have something huge coming for pve players 
wait till June. We have something coming for all kinds of players, old and new, and, you know, people that have never played the game before. Wait till June. And the, you know, the people who've never played the game before, that that big announcement is going to be that it's coming to console. That is going to be huge, by the way. If it comes to console, I swear to God, it better be cross-platform. Because I think that if it came to console, that alone would honestly save save the servers. I think it would. Because here's the thing, you get you get not only do you have people on Steam and PC, right, uh playing, but you basically, you know, increase your audience by a massive amount by adding uh console support and controller support uh, natively. Obviously, all that came. Uh we have the console support in this patch in season five that just released uh, two days ago. And we have, uh, you know, console support probably coming in June. Well, I don't know if it's going to come in June, but the announcement's coming in June. Hopefully it'll be in by, you know, next year sometime. Uh, but that is a massive, a massively wide net that is cast out. And they've been hyping up the content as well that they're adding to the game in June. Uh, so hopefully the game is going to look a lot different, a lot better, it's going to feel a lot better with the new code. There's going to be a lot more to do. And then it releases on console and they get the release that all us PC players wish that we had. You know, because everyone says, right, if the game released how it is now, even though it's still not perfect, even though it's still not incredible, even though it's still not amazing if the game released how it is now back you know when it originally released wow we people would have stayed for so much longer so many more people and that's the thing with with some people you burn a bridge and it stays burnt it's never rebuilt no matter what you do you, you can't rebuild it and some people you know they'll give you one or two more chances and sometimes, you know, depending on how fast those people are going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give it another chance. Depending on how fast, some, I imagine there's a group of, you know, there's a solidly semi-high group of players that gave it like three chances. Gave it a chance on launch. It sucked. Came back like a year later. They didn't, they didn't like it. They came for Brimstone Stands. It kept them interested. But like, then once they got finished with all the Brimstone Stand content, it was like, uh, whatever. And then, like, they, you know, moved on to, uh, they came back during the expansion, and it was like, oh, okay, wow, the game has definitely improved a lot, but, like, it's still not something I want to sink a ton of time into. You know, it, I would imagine there's a, there's def definitely a high group of people that have probably had their last bridge burned by New World, whether it was the first one or the third one or the fifth one. So, it's going to take a lot, right? I believe, honestly, that the player numbers speak louder than anything else. And if they release it on console and they have it's it's cross play, which it a hundred percent should be. There's zero reason it should not be caught cross play. I'll be very upset if it is. If if it is not cross play. I'll be I will I will honestly be very upset. Um for the first time ever with like the devs, I will be extremely, extremely uh upset. Um Yeah, I, I believe that if a lot of people start playing, there's a lot more, you know, they add more servers, they add higher server caps, and there's actually players to fill it. Um, I, I believe that people will see that this game is now succeeding, and even if their quote-unquote last bridge was burned, they will give it at least one more shot. And in the case where people are actually, you know, having fun and it is good, um, maybe they can... uh. Maybe they will have, you know, the the final bridge that they decided to give New World, the new final bridge, after the other ones were burned, will actually last. In what capacity? Rather than burn. Mount, there might be an enemy type or a little critter that you run over. I don't know. 
a critter or pets would make sense. They keep mentioning pets, maybe pets. But there were two more things in here. Scott Lane basically confirmed that they're going to announce whatever is coming to New World at Games Fest this year. That's Summer Games. I also think that is massive. That is what they should have done last year with the expansion. Like, it's so simple when you think about it, guys. But so this year, they confirmed there's going to be no paid expansion, but they are still releasing a massive dose of content, an expansion level amount of content, basically, along with the, you know, the, the announcement of controller support and everything like that, uh, uh, along with the announcement of um, console support and everything like that. Um, during Gamescom, which is going to be insane. Insane. Because it's basically, people liked Brimstone Sands more than Elysian Wilds, and Elysian Wilds was the paid version, was the paid one. The Brimstone Sands was an entire new zone. They added the Heart Runes, the, the whole like extra, like the ultimate ability. Um, they, they added so many different features. And comparatively, Elysian Wilds, yes, it added mounts, which a lot of people wanted. Yes, it added artifacts, which is an amazing system. It's it's Elysian Wilds added a decent bit, but it reworked a zone. It didn't add a new zone. And reworking a zone is fine. I would rather have a zone reworked than it be completely useless. But taking a zone out of the game that the game released with and reworking it and putting a price on it, that's a little sus. Like you should have saved the rework for a free for like the free expansion kind of thing and brimstone sands where you add onto the map a whole new zone that should have been what the paid expansion is they got it backwards a hundred percent you basically like they just gave us an entire free and entirely massive free new zone full of a ton of content and really good story and it was actually really good and they said a year later okay, we're going to do it again, except instead of giving you a new zone, we're going to rework it. Like, that seems backwards, right? That seems backwards. And, and you're going to have to pay for it. We're going to make you pay for it's it. Happening, I think June 7th, round about then. Don't we're going to build the Elysian Wilds and make the players pay for it. Don't quote me on the exact. But they basically said, yeah, we're, but, well, I don't, they didn't say it directly, but yeah. It's and by the way, I played through the whole, uh, the whole main quest line on my main on a uh, when Elysian Wilds came out I think it's the best story they have in the game now of course they reworked uh the the end of the MSQ for like the base game what the base game released with so I haven't played through that yet but I do believe Elysian Wilds was the best MSQ that we have in the game that I've played through I really 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 liked it I was entertained the whole way through I was actually reading you know dialogue I'm usually a story skipper, but I really do genuinely care about New World a lot, and I really like the direction that they've gone with the story, and the fact that it actually keeps me interested, and uh, yeah. Definitely come and get Summer Games Fest, that's where they can reach a, a wider audience. Now, in general, console is again one of those things where it's very likely confirmed. By the way, they yep. are selling a controller. Now, obviously that's not console related, it's because the game just got controller support, but I think it's pretty much definitely coming to console at this point. And during the video, he says we're going to create something that's going to get new players back, but there'll also be stuff for, you know, existing players. Yep. That makes perfect sense console plus a brimstone level of patch etc probably with a pvp zone because you know that's also hinted at and there's a couple of things i actually like from scott in this video they talk about how actually players don't necessarily just want a new outpost rush map they probably want a different mode and i have to say i think i agree with that 100 saying why i think i think the way to knock the pvp players which is definitely this this the vocal minority I think a, the best way to absolutely knock their socks off, n knock the socks off their balls and cocks. I know how to do it, right? You, you drop the open world PVP zone, the always on PVP zone. You drop that and you drop queuable wars. That doesn't have territory on the line or anything like that. People want queuable wars because here's the thing, right? The one where the actual territories are on the line are fought between companies. Companies that are heavily specced 
and heavily focused on PvP, right? If you casually enjoy PvP and not like it's the number one thing in your entire human existence, right? You do not get invited to wars. You you don't because you don't you don't get invited to those companies. A lot of wars are fought by by small circles on servers of like known players. You don't like, oh, I'm going to I've never signed up for a war before. I'm going to log into my server and sign up for a war where they can only pick 100 players to defend their territory or 150. I think it's 50. 50 v 50, right? Anyway, yeah, it's 50 v 50 because it's uh, 10 teams of five on each side um, where you can only pick 50 players and they're for sure going to pick me over like the other people that they've fought like 80, not 80, like 100 other wars with throughout the server's lifespan. They're for sure going to pick me though and not like some of the best PVPers that only PVP and only do wars and have like multiple different builds and and they're all like spec and they have like meta builds like the best po- like they're definitely going to pick me though now a lot of people want queuable wars not only right because it allows people who don't normally get invited to wars to participate in them but even the people who do often get uh, do get added to wars they only get like one per night Honestly, if you were a if you were a PvP fanatic and wars were your favorite content in the entire game, of course you would like, okay, I got a war for territory tonight, but I can actually practice my routes if me and my group queue up for these makeshift wars. Um where it's not over territory, it's just like for fun PvP game mode that you queue up for throughout the server. But I do think servers need to be larger. And it definitely needs to be cross-platform, and player numbers need to get higher for that to be a legitimate thing. Because if you have PvP players in the middle of the day, they're queuing for 3v3 arenas, some of them are queuing for 3v3 arenas, some of them are queuing for outpost rush, some of them are, you know, focused on, you know, just one, just PvP that, re- you know, that revolves around territory con- control. So, like, when you know that certain time every night comes where there's like a zone that is open to be attacked like they did um people run uh west and and fight enemies there and protect the points and things like that that's really cool that they added that and then also there's a like an open world pvp zone that's just the pvp players which is actually a one to five ratio you'll see and uh he'll probably mention here um because scott lane mentioned that pvp uh, PVE players outnumber PVP mains uh, five to one. So you have twenty percent or less of the community being like, "I want more PVP," and then servers are small. The game is not doing well, player numbers wise, and you have five different modes that these PVP players are like spread out across. It's not going to, you're not going to find people. It's going to be very hard. It's going to take very long. It needs to be cross server and server sizes need to go up. And um, more people just need to be playing the game. They need to get more eyes. They need to get more people playing the game. Why not both? Which, you know, it's hard to argue with, but the answer. But like I said, that would absolutely knock PvP players socks off. Like it, it would be insane. Because that th- those are two of the biggest things PvP players want. The, I guess it's simply money or the return on in investment. But there's one thing I, I was a little bit suspicious of. Suspicious is maybe the really the right word. But there's one thing where he was talking about we have the players segmented and we try and give content to, you know, this bucket, then this bucket, then this bucket, and then we circle back around. <laughs> and I sort of felt that that one was maybe an indication of a wider problem with New World. I don't think they should be trying to please every segment what i think they should probably do is pick the segment that they want to focus on and then deliver the most content there which i think they actually do do already but i think at this point they should probably commit a little bit heavier too interestingly by the way they gave a different number of pveers versus pvpers they said that pveers outnumbered pvpers at a five to one ratio so all the pvpers wanting content 
that's why you ain't getting it or it's why you're not getting as much as you think you deserve because there's not as many of you as you think yeah it's true you should be getting content at a five to one ratio then well one to five ratio assuming you're talking to pvp players that's just the way it is guys that's just the way it is that's how every company should do it that is the way it is you've got to appeal the, to the majority or the majority will quit and you know what here's the thing about new world the majority already quit because they weren't doing it good enough they did say about listening to feedback from maybe like Reddit and Discord and maybe YouTube, although I don't want to have such hubris to think that they actually watch my videos or anything like that. But mm -hmm. it's sort of true that you shouldn't listen to a isolated bit of feedback. The online community of people talking about this game is not as big as the silent majority. That's probably just the way it is. As they say in the video, though, that doesn't mean they don't listen to your feedback and True. my feedback. It just means they need to contextualize it. And it can become an echo chamber. I had the video in like 420p. But the next hint is I think swimming is pretty much all but confirmed. They do a bit of a sign off. And in the sign off, they're talking about New well, World is saved. Saying goodbye, but they New World is saved. Download New World today. Download New World today. It is saved. They're adding swimming, boys. They're adding swimming. They're doing swimming puns, and they literally put a swimming pun counter on the screen. Yep. Considering they said that there would be Easter eggs, I think you can assume that that is almost certainly one of them. Swimming is probably very likely coming in Season 7, and, you know, if I was a betting man, I would put money on it. I just realized I have no idea what that is. Is that a cactus? In my head, it looks like little fingers or like little people with faces drawn on. <laughs> but I think. So, if that is a cactus, I would imagine the reason it is a cactus is because they're basically just doubling down on hinting that we are getting a brimstone esque expansion, a brimstone esque free expansion. Basically, actually a plant. But what this video was, I actually think it was quite good. Of course, they can't really tell us anything new, but now we know when something's getting announced, it's going to be early June at Summer Games Fest. Swimming probably confirmed, pets hinted at yet again. Yeah, I liked it. What I'm not sure I like at the minute is this bloody slippery movement. I just feel so janky. I don't know if they can fix it. I think this was on the PTR. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not a deal breaker That's for real. me, but I don't know. It was better when I had the freeform movement on the live version than what we have now. Obviously, it's very early days. We'll see how I feel once I've done, you know, quite a few more outpost rushes and stuff like that. Still a little bit salty about this whole queuing up system. That's not really a queue. People are just spamming to get in. But, you know, at least I did the 10-man seasonal trial and got my buddy Spin to Win Axe. Can't wait to use that tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts. Alex Hard. Below. Big shout out to my Patreons. If you want to support that goes really hard. and all that kind of jazz. So, I'm sorry I made this video really, uh, really long. I turned a 9 minute and 38 seconds video into a 33 minute video, but that's just the way it is. I really like New World, I really like talking about it, and I, honestly, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It, it is the way it is. So, make sure that every time I pause the video, he is making some crazy face. Everyone, like this video, go over to his channel, and give it a subscribe as well he makes really good content he's always keeping up on uh the updates that are coming to new world and the exciting new things to talk about uh with the game so you know yeah if you do care about the game head over there and check it out uh also i would suggest that if you see my videos and you want to download the game for yourself um if you if it takes it if it brings at least a little bit of interest to you and you want to check it out, the game goes on sale pretty often, so I would wait for those times. But thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, because, you know, I'm talking about New World, so, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would dislike this if they saw it. Uh, then, you know, prove it with the, by pressing the dislike button. It is what it is. Can't please anybody. Or can't please everybody. I would hope I could please someone. Me with a subscribe and uh, click the notification bell uh, to get notified whenever I upload next. Peace.